this video will describe the concept called framing. So data transmission in the physical layer means moving the bits in the form of a signal from source to the destination. The physical layer provides bit synchronization to ensure that the sender and receiver use the same bit duration and timing. The data link layer needs to pack bits into frames so that each frame is distinguishable from another. Framing in the data link layer separates a message from one source to a destination or from other messages to other destinations by adding a sender address and a destination address. The destination address defines where the packet is to go. The sender address helps the recipient acknowledge the receipt. Although the whole message could be packed in one frame, that is not normally done. One reason is that a frame can be very large, making flow and error control very inefficient. When a message is carried out in one very large frame, even a single bit error would require the retransmission of the whole message. When a message is divided into smaller frames, a single bit error affects only the small frame. So types of framing, there are two types of framing. One is fixed size framing, one is variable size framing. Frames can be of fixed size variables, uh, fixed or variable size. In fixed size framing, there is no need for defining the boundaries of the frames. The size itself can be used as a delimiter. Variable size framing, we need a way to define the end of the frame and the beginning of the next. Variable size framing approaches. One is character oriented protocol where the data to be carried are 8 bit characters from a coding system such as ASCII. The header and the tailor are also multiples of 8 bits. To separate one frame from the next, an 8-bit flag is added to the beginning and the end of the frame. Bit-oriented protocols. Here the data section of a frame is a sequence of bit to be interpreted by the upper layer as text, graphic video, graphic, audio, video and so on. In addition to the headers, uh, we need a delimiter to separate one frame from the other. Most protocols use a special 8-bit pattern flag that is like this as a delimiter to define the beginning and the end of the frame. Thank you.